Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm just gonna be replacing the internal battery in my CyberPower UPS in the rack. So if this is something you think you're interested in seeing, stick around. Okay everybody, I'm at the rack and this is the one use CyberPower unit that I'm going to be replacing the battery on. For safety purposes, I've unplugged the unit and took the network down. I'm going to be following the written instructions that came with the new battery as this is the first time I'm doing a battery replacement on this UPS. It's several years old and during the last power outage, the battery failed to maintain the network devices in the rack. So, note to self, check the UPS battery status on a regular basis. According to the instructions, the first step is to remove the plastic panel right here. It comes off pretty easily just by gently pulling on it and it reveals the protective metal cover. We have to remove three screws, these two right here and this one over here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Then we'll check the next step in the instructions. The next step is to disconnect the red and black cables, then remove the final retaining screw that's holding the battery in place. And this is it right here. Now that we have the battery cables disconnected and the screws removed, let's pull out the entire battery pack. Now we're going to insert the new battery pack and I guess reverse the entire process. We'll connect the wires black to black and red to red, making sure they are seated firmly. Now let's reinstall the retaining screw to hold the battery in place. Next, let's put back the protective metal cover. And finally, let's put back the plastic panel, then I'll fire up the unit. The instructions state that the initial charge will take between four to six hours, and then we should be good to go. Okay, so the UPS is fired up. You could see that in the display. If I pan up slowly, you could see that the network is in the rebooting process. All right, guys, so there you could see it wasn't too difficult to replace the internal battery on the CyberPower 1U unit. I guess it's pretty important to make sure the battery is always in good condition. Otherwise, what's the point of having the UPS? So anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. I hope it helped you. And if you liked the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you, as I do in every video, for using the Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, I do have links to my Patreon and PayPal, along with a link to buy me a coffee down in the video description. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and supporting, and we'll see you all next time.